news the news headline it did what no one has done that's baba ahmed exposes what our next chairman secretly did by 4 a.m on march 1st do welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to today's news but please don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates the new status please listen carefully to the end senator yusuf that's baba ahmed the labor party's vice presidential candidate has continued to expose shocking occurrences that took place behind closed doors during the february 25 presidential election proceedings senator baba ahmed claimed that professor mahmoud yakubu the independent national electoral commission's chairman did something unprecedented for an INEC boss during the presidential election regarding the outcome of the presidential election Yusuf Dati said in an interview on Channel TV's Politics Today program that the election was nothing more than a total farce. He claims that after calling off the votes tallying process at 4 in the morning, the INEC chairman secretly went back to the coalition center to declare Bola Ahmed Tinubu the election's winner. He is ad stating in the viral video. They were compiling the information without consulting IREF. When we discovered out, we warned them that the election was already headed in the wrong direction, but they did not listen to what we had to say. It has never happened in the history of Nigeria for the INEX chairman to sneak into the coalition center after adjourning the meeting at 4 in the morning and announced the results, thus declaring the winner. This was a first. Remember how the presidential agents of the People's Democratic Party, PT, BDP, Zenita Dino Melaye and Honorable Umar Farouk Ibrahim of the Labour Party and seven other party agents staged a workout at the National Coalition Center in Abuja during the coalition of the results of the February 25th presidential election. That was about three weeks ago. Melaye had already claimed that excessive voting taunted the outcome of the Ikita State presidential election, announced on Monday, February 27. Therefore, Melaye and other party representatives demanded that the Ikita State result be thrown out and asked INEC to display transmitted election results state by state on the screen for everyone to see. He stressed that political parties would have had access to the election results on the commission's web page if the electoral body had sent them in accordance with the electoral act. In response, the high neck chairman insisted that there was no overvoting in the state of Ikiti and emphasized that any results other than the one made public by the commission were not produced by INEC. That's Baba Ahmed of the Labour Party's vice presidential candidate has accused and exposed the INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakubu concerning what he did after, before declaring Ashwaju Ahmed Tinubu the president-elect of Nigeria, saying that 
during the coalition in Abuja, the high neck chairman said, let us stop, put a stop or a pause to the coalition that they are going to resume later on. But as they all left the coalition center, the high neck chairman sneaked into the coalition center at 4 a.m. where nobody was in the hall any longer and he had to declare Ashwa Jibala Metunobu. The first thing is he has gone against the electoral process, electoral laws, which says that the president must win to third of all the states and also the FCT. But before the election, INEC has promised Nigerians that this election will be based on electronics. They are making use of the beaver's machine and after voting, all results will be posted on the iRave where everyone will be able to have access to it. And during the coalition center, the PDP agents and the Labour Party we are seen accusing and staging a walkout on the in the collision center after announcing a result that was not supposed to be so, declaring that it is either we cancel this election and we win, or we will not accept this result. And also coming to Ikita states when the results were announced, remember that Charlie Boy said that the equity result is more than those accredited voters meaning that INEC has done one or two things in giving out the results and INEC is saying that the results in the Ikita state is the correct one but that Baba Ahmed is still insisting that the INEC chairman has done what is not supposed to do do you think that that Baba Ahmed's assertions could stand as a point in the presidential election tribunal? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you.